Hey guys, hey it's guys. Ava Nina and Lou. Going on a date in like two hours, so. And she's so scared. I'm scared because I haven't been on a date in like a year, and so we're gonna make drinks so I can feel better about it. <laughs> also, did my hair and I hate it. No, it looks cute. No, we need to fix it. <laughs> Ooh, he hates me. I don't know why he's letting me hold him right now. He does not hate you. <laughs> I'm like the evil aunt. No, Violet is the <laughs> evil aunt. <laughs> They hate each other. They have uh, a rivalry. Tequila, Coca Cola. <laughs> wow, this is like a really step by step. Like we need yeah. to teach them how to this do this. Or reposado is good. But you want to try it? Come on, this is what I did in Mexico. We did tequila okay, tasting. Okay, let's do tequila tasting. Okay. Live tequila tasting right now. That was so satisfying. Wow, these are so light. Okay, no, first you have to put it to the side like this and swirl it around. <laughs> then you smell it. Can you smell like the vanilla? I can mm -hmm. smell it. Well, actually, that's you. Oh. And we're tasting different tequila, so. Yeah, why are we doing them differently? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we just. We sh okay. He no. said, we'll take a card. Good. Thank God, because if he would have said, okay, I asked him. I asked him if we're taking a car or if we're, I don't know, taking another mode of transportation to plan my outfit. And he said we're taking a car, which they got. Good. Might be too know. little. Poured out the other one in there. This tastes like, like. Oh. Uh, I'm actually, like, really not that much of a tequila girl because I think I've been, like, um, traumatized too much, but whatever. I'm a vodka girl. Me too, I'm a vodka girl. Yeah, Whatever though, but I feel like tequila like makes you fun. It does, it makes you less sleepy. So, I'm taking this Coke that, um, so there's this little shelf in my building where people just leave random shit. Like sometimes I'll put my PR there for people to take. Oh my god, I've taken stuff from it before. And, Not yours, so, and somebody left these Cokes there. I mean, you know, <laughs> if there's a Coke there, I'm gonna fucking take it. Okay, I feel like I should have added more. What if we just add the other just one? Mix it up. Yeah, we use those um, well, I actually saw a video on TikTok where um, this girl was drinking an Alani and there was she found a rat in it. No, she she found a rat. How would a, a rat full, fit in there? A full rat. How Swear. would a rat fit in there? That I saw the prank. video proof. No way, that's real. She, she's cut lying. She <laughs> let me fucking show you. She cut open the can. Why? She thought there was gonna be a rat in it. She saw a little something. That's ter- that's- no, she has to sue them. Now I'll get it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, imagine sipping from that, like, with- No, I would actually, like, I'll die. Be, yeah. <laughs> Let's go over there. I have to remember. Ava came over to do homework <laughs> and- Yeah, now we're fucking drinking. This is her, this also is, her fault, usually I'm this. Yeah, so you're always the one who's done it to me, so <laughs> I'm allowed. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't seen this bitch since before she was in LA. I know. To be fair, you went to LA and then I went to. Mexico. I know. No, you. I went to LA and then she <laughs> went to LA after I left LA. And then she was went to like Mexico. two days after. Guys, what do I wear? I'm like, I want to wear the tank. What do I wear? My tank top again. Then wear it. Why not? He hasn't seen you in it. You want pants? So pants, you've decided on. Maybe some dress. Dress. I don't pants? know, like dress and or skirt kind of gives like have sex with me <laughs> like my legs are open <laughs> that's not true oh, you met more tequila and more coke. <laughs> please add some for me as well okay. like we're just gonna oh sorry it definitely doesn't give that yes it does i've gone on first thing uh, okay let's call <laughs> let's call colin and and ask what does it give when a girl's wearing a skirt or a dress on a date and we'll see what he answers. If you post this online, you're gonna get canceled. Why? <laughs> Why would I get canceled? I'm just saying that I think that men think that you're okay. more open to sleep men, with them. Yes, men. Yes, I'm not okay. saying me. I'm saying men. Okay. There's no way a man can talk to me on a first date, like looking at my face. <laughs> There's no way I can talk to you on a first date. Like, <laughs> okay, it's not matching. Guys, I actually like can't hide my true personality. I can't like. 
I don't imagine you on a first date. Like I act like normal, like you do with me. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm the same way. But I always get nervous on dates, so I have to go like a little drunk, and that always helps. Well, there you go. I actually, the thing that I do that's bad is that I bully them, or like <laughs> I'll start imitating them because that's just like a response, but and I think what? it's funny. That's your humor, and if they don't get it, then they're not meant for exactly. you. Like I bullied Gabe on our first date, and like we got, and not like that was like fun, you know? Yeah, that was fun. But like some guys take it really personally, and then they're like offended. Like the guy that I went on a date with and he had just he had just gotten out of jail. Uh, he was definitely lying. Because then Why he's, you lying about that? Because he saw my friends, like or he didn't know they were my friends. He ran to my friends at a bar and he was flirting with them. And they didn't know it was the same guy either, but Lainey knew because she was she like took a picture and was like, Isn't this the guy you went out with? But they he also told them that he had just gotten out of jail so he should probably just like i don't know why he thinks that's cool though so that's so weird like not a flex yeah so like, yeah i've been to jail a lot but you know like for the right reasons <laughs> what are the right reasons like you saved in new york or something like what what do you mean no. you're saving new york and going to jail for it <laughs> oh, he definitely was lying there's i don't think he actually went to jail interesting like I talked to him like a girl like he's like my girly he's like we'll take a car I'm like studying gorge that, that reminds me of when Liv texted that was so funny when she thought she was texting <laughs> fucking Claire and <laughs> she was texting oh, tell the story oh tell the story oh my god Liv was like she thought she was texting Claire, one of our friends. She like texted both of them next to them she didn't have either of their numbers saved and one of them was like a guy that like was like kind of hitting on her i don't really know but like it wasn't just like a like close friend or anything and so he's like texting her and she's like yes queen like oh my god go off like you like literally like go girly and he just yes, is like going girly, along with it like, today, mama. <laughs> it was like the most girly text you could send that she sent to him and he was just I, he a full it. conversation and he's like going with it yeah. and she's like thinking that it's clear yeah and then she was she's like, like let's meet up right now like let's go smoke girly and he's like yeah girly <laughs> is crazy i need like to be dating so that there could be big tea with me yeah but then everyone comments about your life and your choices i don't care though that's why you need to go on more first dates <sighs> i hate first first dates, to do it. comment down below if you think we should go on more first dates and make <laughs> it a series <laughs> i'll only go on first dates if i can vlog it for content <laughs> Or you could just make it serious, like get ready with me. It's more awkward, though, because I'd be making money off of it. <laughs> then it wouldn't be a waste of time every time. But imagine you like do all these this series, like get ready with me for another first date, and then one of them sticks, and it's not a first date anymore. And then you're dating someone. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, the last date I went on would probably be with. That was like. Okay, but you you hung out with guys just because you didn't go on a date with them. Like that guy in California. Yeah, that wasn't a date though. Yeah, but it was like like we were friends. We're friends. <laughs> we are friends. I know you're friends. Sorry. We're friends, and that's why. Like it really. Sorry, I'm trying to put the phone back. It's really nerve wracking to me when like we're not friends first. Like with like, we were friends first. That's true. Yeah. So like I got eased into it. It and like, like it, it like it was like a tricking my brain, you know? Like we're not really dating this guy. Yeah. Okay. Bro, bro, oh bro, 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 bro! <laughs> <laughs> How did he even get on that? That's true. I feel the, all the guys I've dated seriously, other than Gabe, I was friends with beforehand. Gabe's only yeah, because or else it just like I can't do it. Like it just makes me too nervous and i don't even know why it's also I'm always nervous. good to like build a relationship based on a friendship exactly you a friendship as part of the relationship that's what i'm saying me and gabe just built our friendship like after our first initial like romantic whatever we both both the same together time. the second <laughs> colin is answered what does it give when like a girl is wearing like a skirt or a dress on a first date versus pants or something like that what does it give when a girl is wearing a skirt versus dress? Like your girl, like a girl you're going on a date with is wearing a skirt. What are you thinking? Or, uh, this is the worst person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me call Gabe and get a different answer, please. What? What'd you say? 
<laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear. So, skirt versus pants or skirt versus dress? Some skirt versus, I mean, Either. dress and, and skirt versus pants. I think... It's, well, the only reason it gives for it is that it's short. So if it's like a long dress, then it's fine. Yeah. Like, if you're... I wouldn't necessarily do anything shorter than fingertips unless you want them to play with your labia, you know what I mean? Cut the cameras. Dead ass. <laughs> fingertips? What am I going to fucking class? I'm telling you the truth, like, he's gonna um, think that he's gonna crack you open, or at least, at least put it in your mouth. If you're wearing okay. a mini skirt, this or dress. is over. Good night. <laughs> you're so you're on camera. This is being posted <laughs> online. Wait, 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 wait. What are you saying? First day. Versus jeans. Versus like pants or jeans. If she wears a skirt, a mini skirt or a mini dress versus pants or jeans. What it gives. Like what? What do you think of? Give your true and honest answer. Pretend like, Ava's not. Exactly. Your girlfriend. <laughs> give it a little easy. Easy? <laughs> give it a little easy W. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I said. So, why so I should wear pants. Yeah, so why? Is Ava saying that it's not giving it easy? No, yeah. we're just ask we're just asking. I wore pants on our first date. Jesus. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like a mini it's like it depends. You know, like if you guys are like going to a like day of it, like and it's sunny out and the fit's really right, you know, like it's it's giving bad, you know, it's, you're looking good. But if it's like a nighttime dinner thing and there's like no real reason to wear the mini skirt, I just be like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, the reason to wear the mini skirt is because we're Colin going out. said if you're wearing a skirt that is, what is it, a, 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 above above your, your fingertips, fingertips, then you're trying to get fingered. <laughs> I mean, fair point. <laughs> and then I said we were gonna call you and you weren't gonna say that. And he said, Gabe's not a real person. That's what he said. That's what Colin just said. You're planting the idea of like, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the idea wouldn't be planted if I wasn't showing my legs. Yeah, I think the idea of like, like wearing like, Jeans is like you're 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 creating the you're not you're not you're, you're creating the idea like you're creating the you're just as toxic thing. as Colin. Like you don't think that the idea has already been created? Um. Yeah, like don't a lot of guys want to sleep with someone on the first day? <laughs> yes, but like if it's too easy, then it's like all right, on to the next. You know, like if you just want that, then like go for it. This is how I'm explaining males right now. So what about me? I slept with you on our second date. <laughs> we're showing up and I, was, I wasn't, I, I wasn't, you think I was trying to invite you back to the hotel to hit, but I really wasn't. You literally were like, I need to stop at my hotel before we go to dinner. Do you want to go with me? Um, Thanks really, for your really noisy where you are. massive, what is it called? Yeah, I know the Input. Yeah, I had the fry and... Hi. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I honestly don't even know how people like date so much and like not get anxiety. First dates or just like, like in general. I just can't do it. I can't. I mean, before Gabe, all my relationships, I had like extreme anxiety. I'm not gonna lie. I really just feel like when you find your person, like they like know you so well that like. They won't stress you out, or like even when you are stressed out, like they're the I'm best. Right, I feel like it's always like a problem. Okay, but the, the thing is that I've only been in one relationship, and it was a exactly. gigantic problem. Exactly. Like, so like in my head, like relationships are just like like problem, bad. Yeah, I've had three different relationships, and they all like were completely different. Like, it was my three year relationship, and we honestly had like a really good relationship. Like, it was healthy and everything until we started doing long distance and that was also because i was like i feel like i was ready to be done like i moved to the yeah. blue city and i had no, i only dated him when i was like in high school and i was like i just want to like experience life on my own and then i ended up dating someone like two weeks later so <laughs> yeah you're such like a dater <laughs> not really yes no. you, you I mean i, was I feel single like for like two years before again but i did go oh, true. out with a lot well of i'm no 
Didn't you have like, how long was before gay? So we broke up my freshman year. Single for two years before gay. But I don't know if we count it as that because we were so on and off. That's after what I'm saying. That, that, but it wasn't like a relationship. It was just like hooking up. That like. Yeah, but like with like mad emotions. With, with, with like feelings. Yeah. But like I realized later on that he's like a psychopath and a narcissist and like genuinely I don't think he can feel feelings for anybody. That's like, how I, I feel about mine. <laughs> like I like blame myself for so long. It's like why didn't he have these feelings for me? And like back like why did, why is he cheating on me? What am I doing wrong? And then I realized I was like there's nothing wrong with me. There's something wrong with him. Mm -hmm. When that's like what every woman should realize who's gotten cheated on. Like yeah, hundred percent. It's always something wrong with them because even if you are not madly in love with somebody in the same way that they might be with you if you're like a good person you're not gonna cheat on your partner yeah you're gonna break it's up with just them. break up with them like that's it's not what that i did with difficult. my ex because he was he wanted to marry me and have kids with me and i was and like, you were like yeah i'm not gonna happen yeah so i broke up with him and that was the right thing to do yeah and then he thought i cheated on him because i did date someone like two weeks later which was fucked up but we have, we're, we we moved past that. I apologize. So, and hey, I got my karma, so it's okay. <laughs> and he also just lies about everything, like literally everything. Like you'll meet him and he'll just like lie about everything to you. I like, am like, like so scared of those kinds of people. Yeah, like I don't understand. Like how do you even I think so about these lies in your head? Like I've had people be like, oh, like. He told me he grew up here or that he's like Italian. No, no, you don't understand. My ex has New York City in his bio <laughs> and he doesn't live here. Yeah. Like, at all. What? He doesn't live here at all. But like, just in any way. And, and he, no, no. He posts the city, like pictures of the city when he's not here. So why? Like, why does he do that? He's like, they a, just have no he reason a logical to lie. liar. Like, people aren't gonna judge you for telling the truth. Like, you don't have. He literally tells when he grew up in New York, and he didn't. He grew up in Rhode Island, exposing him to YouTube right now. Period. <laughs> but like, that's Can you something so little. Chair? Like, why does that matter? Why does that matter? The tequila starting to hit. I'm getting mad. Wait, can I have the tequila too? <laughs> okay, guys, my cat won't stop yapping, and I feel like there's a problem, and I like, I'm scared. I feel like he always does that. He cat. yaps 24 7. No, he doesn't. Oh. Like, he's just not stopping. What's wrong? I think he's bored. I think I need to teach him how to go on walks outside <laughs> because yeah, I, mean, I he's think just he's in just. Apartment all day. Exactly, and it's so small. I'm like, don't worry, I'm gonna move into a bigger <laughs> one soon where he has multiple rooms to go in. That would be nice. But mm, what are we talking about? Pathological oh. liars? Yeah. So, you know, I for so long kept trying to like fix him because I was like, oh my god, same. Yeah. Same. I, I was just, like, I'm Bob the fucking builder. Yeah, I was like, I can do it. I can fix him. Like, I'm gonna like instill it in, in his the head. beginning. He was like so great and perfect and like everything. So I was like, oh, so he can be that way. But no, they're just that way because that's how they like love bomb you and take you in. And then, yeah, and then um, it's so like it's like so fun at first. You're like, wow, like no one's ever done this. No, it's exactly. So like, I literally was like, oh my god, like I'm so glad I did break up with my ex because like look at this guy who's treating me amazing. My ex would like tweet about me all the time, and this was at the time where I was like obsessed with Twitter. Twitter and I was like so young, and so I thought that was like so sweet and cute and like. But it was like so outside of like my whole like life. It was just like something completely like yeah, also none of my friends were on Twitter. Distance? Yeah, he lived in fucking like Texas. How did, that's like, so I don't even know how you could do long distance in high school. Because I was a psychopath and I was like depressed and like just wanted a boyfriend really badly and he was so like um like these they're types so of people convincing. are really like they're really charming. Like they're yeah, so charming. They're so charming it's, at like, first. It's like in it's like impossible to not fall in the trap. Yeah. And they go for like girls that like are insecure and like are not having it so it like works yeah and then you know, you've fallen in this trap and it's so hard to get oh out my, of you it you can't get out you it can't took me get years out years to get out of it me too and me now too. that i'm out of it i'm like what i'm like the what fuck? is wrong what with you I girl thinking? like i was like a completely different person like yeah. an entirely like you know me i'm like i've always been this confident i've always been like super good with myself like i've never been like oh like um i should have a boy without choosing like shit but then I just completely switched into a different person and somehow I didn't realize that this was psychotic. Like, it's so crazy. Yeah, I mean, all my friends, like, I mean, you were friends with me when this was going on. I didn't talk about it a lot, but on the occasion I would, my friends would always be like, Ava, 
please don't talk to this man. Why are you doing this to yourself? You're Me gonna regret this. If you just cut him off and like wait a couple months, like you will be so much better and you'll realize and you'll be over him. And I was like convinced that that was not gonna happen and I just kept going. And then finally, I guess, I don't know what happened. Nothing like really crazy happened. Like he had fucked me over so many billions of times. Yeah, and I then it was like it. another one and I was like, okay. It was like a yeah, small it, like, thing. Yeah, it was like a switch. And yeah. I was like, oh shit, what's happening? Like yeah. what? And then I like never went back. It was finally just like, you know, I was just like, That's this why is I, like, the last straw. This was the last straw. Whenever and I like in I encounter people in these situations and they won't listen to anyone, I'm like, just leave just, it alone. You have, I leave it alone. Before like, I didn't understand before my thing and I feel real life. Why are they in a toxic relationship? Why are they doing this to themselves? Like, that's but so now dumb. that I've like, been through it, I'm like, just I'm, not, I'm it. not judging. Like, I can't judge. I'm like, and there's nothing I can say. There's nothing my friends That's can say. That's what I always say, like, or people will tell me, like, stories about their friends, and I'm like, just, like, yeah. you just have to wait it out. Like, it's, like, she'll yeah. realize it at one point. You can, like, give her tips here and there, but, like, at the end of the day, it's your own mental block. Like, like no matter what yeah. anyone else says, like, I'm just like, well, you, you're thinking, like, well, you guys just, like, don't know him like I do. Like, you know, like, he wouldn't get it. Yeah, exactly. So, like, they're not gonna listen to you. Yeah, exactly. They won't listen to you. And, like, only give them advice when they ask for it, because I swear to God, my friends would give me advice when I wouldn't ask for it. I'd be like, but you just don't understand. Literally, <laughs> you don't know him. Yeah, they they they, they might not know. Him. They knew how many times he made me fucking cry and like freak out and be like, like I literally I do have anxiety, but I thought I was like, like had way worse anxiety before, and then I realized that most of it just came from yeah, literally being with like a terrible person, and you know what? I finally did come off, and like then I was single for. I mean, not I would already been single. Like I had gone out with other guys during this time, and like we had probably been cut off for like four to six months, maybe at a time. But would still somehow end up. It's because that was when I was clubbing. I'd always run into clubbing. That's why I don't go clubbing as much anymore. So I'm like, no, can't do it. But I think that's why. Like I, I'm so grateful that my ex doesn't yeah. actually live in New York. Both of my I got it's a fucking here, lie. By the way, I've, I've run into him and his girlfriend before on the train. I actually didn't notice them, and then he texted me after and was like. Oh my god, that was so awkward. And I was like, wait, what? And he was like, we literally made direct eye contact with you. I was like, bro, I just be spacing out on the train. No, I literally. Not you. <laughs> you guys know that when I first was gonna move to New York, I was supposed to move to New York with my ex. Like, we were supposed to be living together. When you I didn't here. tell me this? Yeah, this is true. Oh my god. And that's we were like looking terrifying. for apartments together and stuff. And like, I was gonna do it. My friends were like, don't do it, bitch. Don't fucking do it. And then I like had this pit in my stomach and I like couldn't figure out what it was and like and then I was just like You stupid bitch the pit in your stomach is break up with this man and don't move in with him. He's a psycho And that's probably the best thing you did for your life. I know that I definitely would have like my whole life would have been a different I, I guarantee yeah. that once you let go of that really big weight that's like Pushing you fucking down. I know it's your whole so life hard, changes Especially when they like don't give up either like they keep trying to contact you. No but then your whole life just gets better. Oh my god, literally. Like, even... Like, no, everything It was hard better. after, like, the first month. And then after that, breezy. I was finally, like... Literally. Over it. You know, I talked to a couple people. It didn't work out here and there. I was like, whatever, though. I'm not gonna go back to this shitty person. Like, I would rather have, like, flings that don't work out than, like, go back to someone who would treat me the way they did. Like, they obviously didn't care about me. Like, bro, this man was asking me to pay his rent. I was like, no, I'm not paying your no. fucking rent. No, 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 no. You like, can't like on cheat on me, take yeah. that shit, <laughs> and then make me pay your rent. Oh, okay. Oh my god, on top of everything else. And I said no. And then the next day, you know what he did? He went and like, what? This is when we were. Now it's my fault. Me. You're broke. And he went and like got with some girl and told her everything that he did to me. But said it as if I did it to him. Like, that's a psychopath right there. <gasps> no, that's actually... Yeah, no, yeah it's, it's, psychotic. it's psychotic. It's psychotic. It's psychotic. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, please stay safe out there. The New York men are not who they, who you think they are. Uh, no, not at all. But I found a fucking amazing person and dated, and that I'm dating now. And yeah. he lives in LA, though, because all New York friends suck, so... But it's okay, because he's so <laughs> he's, such a nice guy that he's moving here. Yes. He's moving here, guys. In August, I'm so excited. And now I will never ever settle for a psychopath again, so. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, same. I feel like it's like a vital thing that you need no, to experience it, in life. No, it teaches you so much. Because if not, you, you get it when you're like 30 and, and then you're fucked. 
Cause you're then, fucked. Yeah, and then that's, that's when, when actually you couldn't marry them. Exactly, that's when like, it matters. Like, right now, I'm obviously not gonna marry someone. So, like, exactly. and I'll move on from this. This is, like, something in my 20s. But learning that later on in life is low-key so much harder. Like, I feel like my mom went through that. Like, she was in a really toxic relationship. And she was, like, considering marrying him. And I was, like... I was like fucking seven years old and I was like, Hello. no, I hate him, mom. I don't want him over. Oh. Like, that's a sign. If that is a up. damn sign if I've ever fucking heard one. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, now I'm high though. And now, oh, fuck. Why did I smoke? I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, I can't believe it smoked before a first day. I can never do that. I can't. I'm hoping the high will go down. I love I've run out of this already once and I've never like used something more. This is the Kylie lip kit and. Shade Kylie. It's perfect. Wait, I ate my lips today. This is such even shape. Yeah, they look so good. I'm so bad at doing lip liner. I've been doing this for so long. Yeah, to be fair, I only started doing it like three months ago and they're always so uneven. Yeah, I've been doing this for like probably two years now. Because, and I used to, no, I, I only started doing it right like the, probably a year ago because I used to overline my lips in a circle <laughs> like i was that bitch yeah full circle we can tell babe we can see sorry it, and it wasn't flying because i have like super small lips like i have um lip injections right now and they're still small like but once you like actually do it with the Maybe real shape of your lips get <laughs> they're tickle on the floor Okay, we need to do my bangs. Can you guys please leave bang hacks down below? Because this is really a tough life. And I'm, I'm sure there's hacks out there to make it an easier life. Awesome. That's the thing. I'm so insecure about how my bangs look all the time when I'm not standing in front of a mirror, you know? Yeah, trust me. I love my bangs. Or Actually, no. I fucking hate them. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm sorry, I love how like bangs, my bangs look when I actually like do them mm -hmm. and like take the time to like make them look good but I really don't like that they're always in my face I never know what they look like when I'm out I always have to constantly fix them they're a lot but they're really cute I just you. love them, they're, they're just so, so fun and like it's just they're so just much like, less boring yeah they like, exactly they like just make you look like more, more it, it just it feel like it matches my self more but yeah trust me i feel like that too when i look you really want to keep them and like figure out how to make them look good but i just i don't have the time and effort for that uh, uh, uh. my favorite product you already know if you saw my reel or my food walk okay guys we'll see you when the outfits come Watch yours. Okay, we found an, an outfit, so. Look how cute. This is it, um, so right cute. now. Heels will look better. Um, also, like, don't know if. Heels would look good, but. I don't know if I want to keep my hair down or up. I'm definitely wearing heels, I don't care if he's short. But oh, okay. this, the question is what height? Don't wear the super duper tall ones. The super duper 3000s? Yeah, I wouldn't wear those. I could you either get wear. More intimidated. I can either wear these. Yeah, those aren't terrible. I was thinking about the naked wolf ones. Yeah, no, not those. Definitely not those. Those are the only oh, pants where I these. I think the tabbies would look better. Because, like, those boots are so cute when you can see the full shoe. But which heel is taller? Because also, these pants are so so long that I need to wear a, yeah, a kind of true. significant heel. At least they're going in a car, but. Yeah, let me try. Do I have any tea? I don't know. I don't have a lot of tea. I used to have yeah, so much no tea, tea when I was single. You had so much tea. <laughs> like, you always had the tea. Yeah. I never have tea. Whenever people call me, they're like, so what's new? I'm like, literally nothing. But you, there is new things. No, like, not like exciting new things. But things that I like to hear. Like, what? I don't know, I just like to hear about my friends' lives. But yeah, it's, I just like, I just work and like go to school. Like, same. I had, I mean, I had a lot of tea when I was single. I'd be like, oh my god, this guy did that, and this guy did this. Yeah. And sometimes I have some friend tea, but not right now. No, man. Bro, it's crazy because I turn 21 and I go out less now than I did when I was underage. Oh my god, me too, though. But That's you're like not everyone. 21. I know. <laughs> exactly.
exactly. I'm 19 and I go out less yeah, than I did when crazy. I was like, like they fucking seven. Like I didn't go. 17 was my friend. Like I can't. I feel like I went out a good amount my freshman year, but not as much as I did my sophomore year. Like when I met you, that was like my most going out phase. Like I was yeah, out. Yeah, that's me too. Well, yeah. like no, that you were summer, out a lot. That, that summer Montreal, like I was outside before moving and stuff like i was going to those clubs a lot when i was like 16 and 17. I, was even to, I was at the club like five nights a week yeah and yeah and then when i moved to new york i was like i need to meet people so i would go to the club all the time that's how i like met so many people and that's how we became friends yeah you know that when i first met eden i wanted to go out with her fun fact of the day. <laughs> that's actually a fun fact our friend mark was he knew both of us and he introduced us at a club and I was one of them, and I was like, oh. Imagine. <laughs> I think we're better as friends. Yeah, I was so. <laughs> the whole trajectory would have, like, because then, like, we, we, it, we wouldn't have worked, and then we wouldn't have been friends. Yeah, exactly. No. So that would fucking yeah, suck. It would have just, no. We would have killed each other. I, I, I mean, I knew. Once we actually like, hung out, I was like, okay, this is someone that I would be friends with. And we ate. But anyways, yeah, I was like, oh, is she into girls? Like, and he's like, oh, yeah, I think she might be bad. I'm not sure. And I was like, oh, can you give me her Instagram? And then I, like, asked you to lunch. And then I was like, you asked me to lunch? What but no, you but as a girl, you're But not exactly. Like, like, as a girl, you're not That's why it's so that. hard to, like, I also like didn't girls. say it in that way either. Like, I was like, oh, this could either be, like, Like, I would have never or, known that. Like, that's why just dating girls here when I'm not looking gay is, like, hard. Yeah. And not like, you know, being so I'm also bi, so I get it. So But it's funny because I usually go for really mask looking girls. Me too. That's why <laughs> like <laughs> we wouldn't have worked out. <laughs> no, we we're just so too similar, you know. Yeah. But yeah, now we're besties, so it's okay. I can't do this. I don't know. Why I just think that's right. funny to look back on. And then I remember we were in like the club like one of the first times we met it was when that guy was still staying with you that random guy i never <laughs> even met him but oh my god imagine i was in my youtube era during that era yeah. like and everything would have been documented i Damn. wish because i don't even know you that was the real tea like that was yeah you the see tea. yeah for real but like, like that oh was my gosh there's a random guy staying with her he was not like, random okay you made it seem that way so i like, had met him like i had met him like a week before moving to new york so he was random you would never do that. No, you would never. No, I would never do that. Yeah. I don't know what like came upon me, but we like went on one day and then like I slept over at his house, but we didn't sleep. We didn't sleep together this whole entire like months of. This, Honestly, that's like, crazy. Happening. Like, like we've never did slept he with try? each other. Like I, the first night that I slept in his bed, I was like, "Hey, not gonna sleep with you. Yeah. Like, just gonna let you know. Like, we're. <laughs> I'm just sleeping here. Like, we're actually going to bed." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then he kind of just like never really tried, but also I think I was like kind of avoiding it. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, at least he didn't try because most guys would be like, yeah, keep trying. Yeah, he was so nice, but like, you know, there was, was a obsessive. lot of other, yeah, a little yeah. bit, it was a little much. No, I remember you told me this is like what we talked about on our first day. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> on our first day. <laughs> on our first day. <laughs> on our first day. Oh, we went to this, we went to like, what's the club right by the Piper Bars? We went there like one of the nights when we like first became friends and Kevin you was there by X. No, we went to Kind Regards. Kind Regards? The bar. Oh, we, we did go there. Yeah. I actually had a really good time there the other day. Yeah. And we went to pianos too and it was actually I know, really and fun. now I can actually go because I'm 21. They're used to really strict our ID. Yeah. So we should go. Yeah, I'm down. But anyways, so we went there and you were, we were like dancing together and Kevin was being you. was like, oh, is this your, your girl that you're with? And I was like, what? And he was like, oh, like, are y'all so getting together? And I was like, no, this is my friend. Like, what? <laughs> he was such a freak. Like, I actually he was not him cute in either. It. Like, okay, he's hot. Like, we get no, it. No, he he's was not. not hot. I he can see like, how, like, your uh, mind was manipulated to, you know, to think, think that maybe. But like, we're together. But, but when you look at him up close, you're like, that was such a funny that we were like we should all go back to yours and you're like oh well i have to make sure that guy is not there to get rid of him <laughs> <laughs> i 
I just can't even like I don't even remember if we ended up going back to yours though. I don't think we did. Because we had had like a fight and like oh my god, oh, yeah, yeah we dinner. had a fight at dinner. dinner. He made me cry. Wait, he, he made did, you cry? He made me cry at dinner. I thought you made him he, cry. We both <laughs> cried. Because he made me feel fucking bad about not being ready to be in a relationship because that's why I didn't like Okay, but I also think like it's not just about being ready to be in a relationship. It's about the person. Like that's yeah. Not but even if like, because I did like like him and like he was yeah. really nice and stuff. But I, me and my ex had just like stopped doing back and forth like that summer. So I was like, girl, like I'm I'm in my healing era. Like this just happened. Yeah. And like it would like you're nice and stuff, but like it's just not a good idea. Yeah. And he was like, he didn't believe me. Like he was like, that's not true. Like you're lying that's to an me. Excuse. Like da da da. And I was like, that's right. Okay. Well, and that's I was literally like, telling him like what like what happened with my ex and saying like all this traumatic shit that happened to me. I was like, and I'm not fucking lying. lying. Like I'm telling you the truth. Like I went through some like, shit. Why are you yelling? Come here. Come. That's like fucked up. I know it was such a bitchy move. And so I was crying at the restaurant because I felt so bad and I was just like sad. And then, and because I felt bad that he was sad, so. Dude, I'm definitely a little tipsy. I'm gonna show up and be like, hi, hi. Hey! <laughs> to all these random fucking people. Okay, I'm gonna. These are my three date night options, okay? Yeah. I really like the one that's yours. I know, it's really good. And it's you. <laughs> so me. So first. Suggestion is black opium cherry. I've actually never tried. Wait, that's your. Favorite. It is so, like, good, but it's like it's like very oh, like it's sexy already and sweet. It's seven ten. I really need to go. Ava, it's okay to be ten minutes late. Should I text her and be like, is yeah. it okay? If Trains I'm are late? delayed. This one is amazing, and like, I do know that the men li tend to like this one. People really like black opium. rose gourmand by Zara. I love this perfume. It smells so good. Oh, honestly, I like either one of these. The black opium is not my favorite, but also just because I didn't like smell it, like spray. It. Hey, here's the fox. Bro is mad late, but he's telling me that his dog. It's it's with it's about his dog, so I'm like, okay, I'll accept this excuse. Um, never be late again because it's actually like a pretty bad lateness. Like, but at least like he's warning me by the minutes but like still um i'm just such an early getting ready person that like i've just been sitting here and like talking to my friends and stuff um because ava actually had to leave me so um but like i could have gone to dinner before this you know like i could have done a whole thing anyways i'll let you know how it goes when i get back but like he's not really off to a great start <laughs> what do you think it's small squirrel what is up? Sorry that my outros are actually all so bad all the time and always filmed on my iPad and never organized. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Um, about that, it went well. It went well. But that's all I'm gonna say. Because <laughs> I never know after I go on a date like how the person feels. I actually never know how anyone feels about me ever. Like I have no way of like reading into that. Like. I, I'm never gonna assume that someone likes me. Well, sometimes I assume that people don't like me, but I'm never gonna assume that someone likes me. I don't know why, I'm just like... Anyways. Anyways. Like, subscribe and comment, please. Please. Um, you know we've been trying to be on that YouTube Prime, and that would be really nice and helpful, and I would love to give you a little forehead kiss if you did that, so if you did, Comment down below and I'll send you a, a, a little virtual one, okay? Love you! Bye!